Hi, I'm Ted. Welcome to River Channel, where we explore the world of whitewater recreation. Today's video is part of a series on guiding the Penobscot River. Andy is going to show us how he runs a left line at Exterminator. <music> As you know, about 30 seconds from put in, you got a big class five hole, and at high water, sometimes it's best to go left or right, sometimes not down the middle. Um, some debate about what's better, right or left, and uh, today Andy's gonna show us how he's managed to get, I don't know, Andy, how much? 100, over 100 people probably down, uh, down over that rapid safely. So we're happy you're with us. If you like this video, please share it. Um, hit that like button, uh, consider subscribing, and please in the comments let us know, you know, uh, what are some strategies to use, uh, what are some great stories you've had at Exterminator, what do you like running left or right? Because right now it's winter and not a whole lot of rafting going on, so what else are we gonna do? Um, but I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to summertime or get out and hang out with you guys again. Why, why the left line as opposed to oh meet to the right line? Why the left line? We actually started doing the left line Oh, it was like somewhere around like 2011 or so. It was uh, after the supposed right line change. So that's why I started doing it because everyone else is doing it. So, uh, but I mean, it's it's six and a half dozen or the other. I mean, if you hit it, it's like it's good to go. But uh, it's like the right line too. If you're good, it's good to go. But if not, it gets uh, it gets dodgy. It gets dodgy. So it's kind of. I don't know, it's, it's a lot better for lighter loads too. That's that's a big thing too, because you get like, you know, a lot of the four loads, maybe even the six loads, you know, the mom pops and a bunch of their kids, stuff like that. If you are where you need to be, it's like just, it's perfect, beautiful, no one gets a splash on them, so, versus going to the meets with like the four load, it's usually uh, <laughs> bad news bears, pretty much. Uh, me... Well, I mean, so again, it's not like if you're running the rest of Exterminator, you know, you need that, like, weight and power, usually, to, like, make it happen. And, I mean, generally, at least, you know, my experience is, like, with four loads and stuff, they're, like, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot easier, because you're, if you're online, you just sluice right through it. You know, I know sometimes four loads, you know, you can hit, get pulses, or, you know, who knows what. It's just, you know, you need, weight's a big factor there. Seems like... Seems like with that left line, you can use the current in order to sort of push you and kind of ride that wave train down, and then you can just make that last. Yeah. Really rely on a lot of power to have to drive yourself right. You can, you can. Well, I mean, yes and no. I mean, you do need a lot of power to to a degree to drive left too, um, because again, that you know that water's piling up river left and shoving right. So you're essentially, you know, you're trying to like cross cross a current that's you know going that way on you. So that's kind of makes it interesting. All right, so uh, you're here, uh, top of the gorge. Uh, tell me a little bit about your setup here. All right, so the setup, Mr. Man, is again, I, I ideally try to just start off like right in the middle. Uh, if anything, I definitely favor middle in the downstream V. Uh, excuse me, I favor more a little bit just to the rightish of middle in the downstream V. Definitely stay away from the far left-hand side, just because, again, with all that reactionary water over there and getting kind of sucked around. And then uh, I just pretty much keep my eyes on uh, False Exterminator from there out and just kind of judge where I am to that setup. I mean, definitely use the uh, Video Boater Boof Rock for sure. Uh, and then, again, from there, try to put my right tube right over False, as Mr. J. Lee told me, and tee up to whatever I hit. So we got the video rock right here. You know, what are you using as sort of your landmark about trying so to So it's, the, it's the very bottom of uh, false. So it's essentially where this whole diagonal just like blows out pretty much, where it dis disperses its so energy. So kind of right you know. here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the the very bottom end of false. Yeah. So you want your right tube on that. Correct, yep. So right right here, right actually, over you're in pretty, much, you're pretty good shape right here. Pretty, yeah, pretty gosh darn yeah. good close. My, my, but my problem here too was I wasn't teed right up to it. I yeah. have a skosh bit of a right angle, and that's what kind of, you know, we didn't get that full. You know, we just weren't up there just just enough. So so you're talking about teeing up to the diagonal itself. So, Correct. Yeah. I, I had just a, enough of a, a little bit of a right angle. It wasn't, it wasn't too janky, but it was just enough, just enough. So this is the hit. 
And then usually, yeah, because it's going to turn that boat just a little bit to the right. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And then drop you Hopefully back to the bucket. right into the, the seam. Yes, which is about definitely a couple feet to the left right there. So right. kind of. So that, kind of almost where this, where this paddle is, yeah. Yeah. Read his cobbler. Yeah, that is the meats I right there. It's good. I love this water sheeting up people's faces. It's, it's, it is a very <laughs> good POV for sure. But yeah, that was definitely that was the meats because if you do a left right left line right, nobody should get wet. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, not a single yeah. person. You know, you just slide right through. Right right slide right. Like actually, you get more wet on false, if anything. If you are left, you tend to find yourself more on the left-hand side of the Correct. gorge. More yeah. like, Nine now, times out of ten. When you get down here to Massel, do you prefer to be close to the fist where you get that seam that goes through and a little bit more forgiving than run the middle of Massel? Yes, uh, yeah. yes. Uh, the I ideal atypical run. That's that's my plan A right yeah. there. But you know, should really you find work most of the times? <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. If you find yourself left, is your strategy at Massel just to tee up to it and <clears throat> tee up to where you ever are in Massel? Because Massel yeah. isn't just a perpendicular shore, if you will, to the autonomy right. of the river. It's, you know, it's it, curved. Yeah, it has. You know, it's like a hockey stick, if you will. Right. Thanks, Andy. That was awesome. Had a great time boating with you that day. I'm looking forward to getting back. Um, again, hope you guys enjoyed everything. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, I'll see you on the river.